defect reduction brings about certain financial benefits. They include reduction in rework, scrap and rejection, reduction in compliance cost, reduction in warranty or penalty costs, and reduction in labor. Now that you have seen the benefits of defect reduction, let's look at the benefits that you can get from yield improvement. Yield improvement brings about certain financial benefits. They include improvement in efficiency and utilization, improvement in yield capacity, and improvement in on-time delivery of goods. Now that you have seen the benefits of yield improvement, let's look at the benefits that you can get from customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction brings about certain financial benefits. They include increase in repeat business, increase in customer recommendation, and reduction in marketing and acquisition costs. So, if you are driving a Six Sigma program or a project, you can expect several quantifiable financial benefits from defect reduction, yield improvement, and customer satisfaction. Let's now look at some actual financial benefits of enterprises. Let's now look at the actual benefits of a few companies that implemented Six Sigma. In the very first phase, the companies saw 20% improvement in margin, 15% increase in capacity, 12% reduction in labor, and 20% capital reduction. Let's now read some facts about Six Sigma. 